Larson has played 38 minutes. Is there enough gas in the tank left for the Longhorns to get out of here with a victory? They only have to play 18 seconds now. Actually to inbound it to Abrams. There's the quick trap. Boy, he's so quick to get around it. They can't choose. Yeah. They got a foul. Kravenhoff tried to foul him and finally gets him on the second opportunity, but almost seven seconds come off the clock. And Abrams has not attempted a free throw today, does not get to the line very much, but he is 13 of 14 on the season and shot about 90% last year as well. Guys, Rick Barnes wants at the line. He'll get two. Wow. So you get a 90% free throw shooter. And so many strange things happen after the holidays. First game back. Not a lot of practices. One of two for Abrams. And now on the road, if they choose to, Wisconsin can wind up going for a win. Now does Bo Ryan have to guess whether Texas is going to come out in zone or man? He's shown them both looks today, and Wisconsin has handled them differently. Well, I, I think you can, you can see where Rick Barnes might want to try to put some full-court pressure on to try to take some time off the clock, slow the advance, see if they can get a turnover, and end this game right here. I mean, with a two-point lead, the one thing they don't want to do is foul, and they certainly don't want to give up an open three. But to try to put some pressure in the backcourt so that Wisconsin can't bring it up the way they want to. Try to speed them up a little bit, get them playing at a pace they don't want. This will last 11 seconds. Texas will stay with the same five players. Some of the stars today, Damian James, 21 points, 15 rebounds. D.J. Augustine has had 16 points and nine assists. For Wisconsin, Brian Butch, 19 points and 10 rebounds already. 11.3 seconds to go. Krabenhoff will inbound it for the Badgers. And this is where not having Trayvon Hughes really hurts because he could get the ball in with his speed and get it up court very, very quickly. They need to get it to Flowers, let him bring it up. Defended by Abrams. Got to get something going toward the basket. Screen by Butch. Five seconds left. Flowers for three. Wisconsin takes the lead. What a play by Flowers at the end. Flowers stole it, threw it as high up in the air as he could. Time expires, and the Badgers have won here in Austin. Bo Ryan is a thief. What a win by Wisconsin, and what a play by Michael Flowers. A contested three, a steal, and then a heady play as he's falling out of bounds to toss it as high up in the air as he can, and time runs out on the Longhorns. But Bo Ryan going for the win off the high pick. The old axiom, you don't go for a tie on the road, you go for the win. You talk about a character-building afternoon for Wisconsin. You can see the high pick by Butch. It was going to be a little pick and pop. Abrams goes underneath and he knocks it down. And Texas tried to inbound it quickly. And Michael Flowers, all Big Ten defensive team, steals the ball, knocks it away. I'll tell you what, I, that's an amazing finish and an amazing play by Michael Flowers, both offensively and defensively. What a win. And the Wisconsin bench explodes. Let's see how Bo Ryan feels about the big win. Yeah, huge win. Coach, let's go through that last play first. What were you looking for? Well, we run a little rub at the top with a big who can shoot the three. We pick and pop on that, so if they came hard to Flowers and more or less tried that hard hedge on him, we were throwing it back to Butch. They didn't hard hedge. Mike got some separation, and he actually, I think he was surprised that he had room to get the shot off, and he hit it. So I'll, I'll take that anytime. Coach, then he follows with a heck of a defensive play, throws it high on up in the air. What did you think about that one? Well, the, in some situations we do that. I always tell them the story of the team that lost the championship. And the other team got it in and won. I said, just make sure if you throw it in the air, you don't hit anything. And Mike did. Characterize this win for your gentlemen. Less than 12 hours before game time, you lose your starting point guard and leading scorer. What does it say about your guys? Well, I think the game says a lot. All I can say is I'm happy for them. 
I feel badly for Trayvon, but he knows now that he has a team that picks up the fallen. So that's about all I can say. Congratulations on a great win, Bo. All right, thanks. An emotional Bo Ryan savoring these final moments of a 67 to 66 win. One of the seniors, Michael Flowers, with a big shot, and then the presence of mind, Jay, to step in and come up with a steal as well. Well, you can see the little pick and pop action. Brian Bush squaring up for a shot as well, but Abrams went underneath. And how about the heads up play? After you make a great shot, not just dancing around, he went and made a game winning play. And Michael Flowers, not only with the rebound, he grabbed a little bit earlier, which we talked about being a potential game winning play. He made a championship caliber play, knocking that shot down and making that steal. Without Big their time. leading scorer, Trayvon Hughes, the rest of the Badgers step up, led by Flowers and Butch, and they beat Texas here in Austin 67 to 66. For more on this game, tune into ESPN News for a post game extra. For Jay Billis, Doris Burke, and our entire crew, I'm Dan Schulman saying so long from Austin, Texas. Our marathon of hoops on ESPN 2 continues with San Diego and Kentucky standing by. But first, let's send you back to the studio and rejoin Scott Reese and Stephen Bardo. All right.